Welcome back everyone. Okay, so let's get the phaser cannon built and installed. Okay, so with uh, doing the phaser cannon here, I got uh, two mil thick uh, plastic here I'm going to be using uh, for the gun here. Okay, so this is the section here that I'm going to be working on. This here will be added on later to the engineering hull. So this one here is what I want to do first. So I got to get uh, the thing where it molds to the hull and get this overall design there. Okay, so I got this fancy little doohickey. Just gonna find the right curvature here. cut this out uh, and then do a test fit on the, on the curvature of the uh, hull here. Good. All right. Cut this out and I cut another piece for the other side and I just got to do the top air areas. They're looking good. All right, so I got uh, the first part here ready for these. So I was going to put this on the top and get that ready for the other parts that go along the back here. Kind of rough right now just gotta let the glue set and then i can do a lot of sanding smoothing all the areas off get all the corners rounded off now in here i need to put um, an indent in here and in here and then have a piece sticking out for the uh, phaser cannon and i'll have a probably a light right in here a red light um okay so, hey, there we go. Just gonna put the the cannon in there. That's good. Indentation there. Okay. 
Looks like that. Looking pretty good. Not bad. Okay, so I'm going to glue these two pieces together. And so I'm going to be working on this section here, but I've got to wait for the glue to dry. So in the meantime, I'm going to be working on the uh, nacelle area here for the third warp engine. taped all this together just to hold it in place to be able to get the design here that I need for this area here. It's going to be built in two layers, the main body uh, where all the windows and stuff are and then the actual pylon on top of that that holds the third warp engine. I got the two sides done there. I got lines in there for each deck. Now I'm going to scour the plastic here to give it that that uh, effect that you see on the model itself. So I got one of my sculpting tools here. Looks like a dental tool. So I got this done, I got this, and this goes right here. I notched it out in the center there just to fit around this area here. So let's put these together and see how it fits. I got the top part there to put on now. Okay, 
Got this little piece here, go right there. All right, so time to get these all smoothened off. I'm looking better. Okay, so with the contour putty on there, just gotta let that set and then sand that smooth. Now for this one here, going to, uh, I didn't put anything on the back here. I'm gonna have to shorten this up a little bit because it, it's rounded on the back. But for right now, actually no, I should do that first before adding the, uh, the, um, the, the pylon on top. So I have to get a round section to put on the back here, but I'm going to have to shave this back this way a little bit to give enough room in here for the, uh, the round section to fit. Okay, so I got this all taped down just to hold it in place. I just need to figure out how high I need to make it. Okay, so according to the picture, it comes up just a little bit higher than this point here. So almost four and a half centimeters.
We got this nice round section here. It's going to go on the back here. There we go. Looks good. Not bad. Very nice. It's going to look really nice. Now for here, see I gotta, gotta shorten this up just a little bit because it's sticking too far back here. So I'll just trim it a bit at the top, at the front. Just to bring it in a little bit, probably like about here, and then add a, a rounded back on that one as well. here for a rounded back. Yeah, let's get this on the backs. Now while that other part sets, I'm going to be working on this section just behind the bridge. There we go, got the pieces there, let's put it together.
go let that set now and then sand it down smoothen it off add the detailing and uh yeah okay so while that sets let's work on these fins down here okay so it's gonna go right here so we're gonna have one fear strip here and i'm gonna have another one on top i need to figure out how long i need to make this According to the picture it goes from here almost to the very end there. It looks like that. So I gotta make two of those. Okay, uh, now I'm going to use this one mil, where's this two mil, one mil uh, sheet here, and I'm going to put upper phaser strips here. I'm going to find out how long these ones are, and then make the same size dimensions and put phaser strips on top of whatever this is. And I gotta redo phaser strips for here and here, a little bit further apart than where they were normally. Other than that, that takes care of that. And there's the repositioned phasers. Looks good there. Looks good. That. Looks good. Very nice. Okay, there we go. Looks good. Like that. Gonna let the glue set. We can do some final fitting. Looks good. It's not bad at all. Very nice. Okay, so I got this all rounded off, smoothened off, looks good. So let's get this installed on top of that. Thank you. 
going back to this let's get this all smoothened out tidied up That's it for this episode, everyone. In the next one, we're going to finish off building the additional parts needed for the ship, and then we can start painting. Please like, subscribe, comment, don't forget to share, and click that notification bell for any future uploads. See you again. Bye-bye.